I use the computer more than 40 hours every single week. And I've done that for more than 10 years, well over 10 years. And I think it's really important for those of us who use the computer to understand how to prevent repetitive stress injury, carpal tunnel, injuries like that, that actually can happen out of the blue for many people, uh, actually, especially women, uh, from what I read. And about a year into my online business, I started to feel some tingling in my wrists and some pain in my hands and my wrists. And I knew that it would get worse if I didn't do something about it. So I did some research and I started doing the following three actions regularly. And I want to share them with you. Um, this is not a prescription that you should definitely do these things, but, I, but these help me a lot and they might help you as well. Um, but I would encourage you to talk with your you know, medical professional to make sure that it's the right thing for you to do, especially if you have some kind of injury already, just to be careful. But here's what works for me. So the first thing that I encourage you to do is frequent micro breaks. Okay, so what I mean by this is that we usually just keep our hands at the computer, type, either we're typing or, or we're thinking, and our hands are still like this at the computer. And so as a result, in any given work hour, your body position, okay, just to show you, in any given work hour, your body position is like this for like a whole hour and sometimes like this, sometimes like this, sometimes like this, right? And it's, it's this limited range of body movement and the rep repetition, you know, especially if you're typing intensely, that's what creates the stress in your body and the injuries. And if you don't take care of these things, you won't be able to work very long. Um, and it may set you back for, you know, weeks sometimes, or longer. So I recommend frequent micro breaks. And what I do is basically, I'm very, I become conscious of this and you need to practice too, to, to become, make this instinctual is that when I notice that I'm no longer typing, what I do, instead of keeping my hands like this at the keyboard, I drop my hands, I drop my hands to my side. I'm, I'm usually sitting down doing this, but I drop my hands to the side. Sometimes I'll even turn, turn them you know, turn, turn, my, turn my arms like this, just again, relaxed, but just dropping my hands. My hands are not at the keyboard right now. I'm, I'm, I drop them to the side and just take a few deep breaths. And this only needs to take five seconds, 10 seconds, and then I'm back to typing. So even when I'm writing a long sentence, I usually, with a long sentence, I, I usually drop my hands to my side once sometimes more than that and then go because it takes me i have like multiple thinking pauses within a single long sentence even so a couple things for micro breaks one is dropping hands to the sides and then you know deep breaths the second one is going like this <laughs> kind of like kind of like you're on a date but uh but just you know resting your elbows on on the table you know hands like this um and putting your chin on your hands and the nice thing is that it kind of stretches this gently we're not pressing it very hard. We're just kind of gently going like this, you know, while we're thinking, you know, instead of, again, it's the, the key, the whole key is body range of movement, right? And then the third thing uh, that I sometimes do is just I, I gently massage my head and my forehead. Again, even just a few seconds feels good. <laughs> Got to fix my hair now. A second feels good and it gives you a break from the, the, the same rigidity of body position. So that's number one is frequent micro breaks. Again, multiple times an hour, many times an hour, even multiple times during a 10 minute segment or whatever, you know, a half hour segment. It's just five to five seconds of just dropping your hands to the sides every now and then. Okay. So that's number one is frequent micro breaks, many of them within any hour. The second thing is that once an hour, I do gentle massage and stretch. Okay, now if, you're, if it's during a very busy day, try to do it at least once every two to three hours. 
but ideally you could do it once an hour, maybe even twice an hour. But there is no magical massage or stretch that's going to like heal everything. And well, I'm not a medical professional. Maybe there is for you, but I'll just tell you what I pay attention to. I basically pay attention to my head, my neck, my shoulders, my arms, my hands, my back, and my legs. Okay. Um, that may be a lot to remember, but it's basically going from head down. And let me just show you really quickly what some potential massages and stretches you can do are. You don't have to memorize this. I have taught different ways of doing it over the years, and I realized that it doesn't matter what the exact stretches are. What the ex it's, it's, it's you having a range of body movement and, and kind of getting the blood circulation and the chi circulation going. That's really all, all this is. It's getting the circulation going. Um, not, not like exercise, not getting your heart pumping, but just getting the blood moving, getting the chi moving. So, you know, gentle head stretch, head massage would be like, like I said, you know, just kind of like, like doing this, you can even do it, you know, do it to your face. Just, just, you don't have to touch your hands or nose or mouth, but just your face and the neck, you know, neck, I'm just, you know, very gentle. See the key, the key to this, there's, there's, like, there's two keys to this. One key is that you've got to be gentle when doing these things. Don't hurt yourself. It's actually easier to hurt yourself than, than you might think. So just be gentle. It's, more, it's better to be gentle than it is to like press really hard. So just be gentle. Make it, make it feel good. That's, maybe that's a better way of doing it. Just make sure whatever you're doing, you know, I'm just pressing this forward. Just whatever you're doing, make sure that it feels good. You know, head, neck, and then arms, you know, arms. You know, I, I, I do this, um, I'm kind of twisting it like this, it feels good to me. And then hands, I kind of squeeze my fingers at the end, right? And same thing over here, okay, and then squeeze my fingers. And then back is just kind of massaging the back a little bit, you know, your, your hands probably can't go very high, so just, you know, massaging your lower back gently, get the chi and blood circulation moving, and then massage the legs, you know, the legs just easy, just, you know, a little bit of this, and then the, the lower legs as well, and do it on both sides. And in terms of the stretches, you know, some, some things to give you ideas is neck stretches after you do the massage, just gentle head roll, you know, just gentle head roll. Again, don't strain yourself and don't go too fast. Okay. Okay. And don't go too long. That's the other thing. Just every stretch is doing a few seconds. And then the arm stretch, here's what I do. Okay. I move. I move my, I stand up and I put my hands to the side like this. Let me see. Uh, give me, uh, bear with me for just a moment. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Okay. So I move my, I, I put my hands like this, put my arms like this. This is in, interestingly a position that we don't do very often. Just this, just putting our arms out. You know, usually we, usually we're like this or we're like this, right? So just palms out you know, arms relaxed, you know, relax, shoulders relaxed, arms relaxed like this. And then I go up. And as I go up, I'm kind of going back a little bit too. Again, it's partly to stretch my chest, open up the chest and just um, as I'm going up, you know, I, I'm, I usually stand up but just to show you. I go like this. And then when I come down, I'm arching my, 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 my wrist like this. So I'm stretching that part as I come down. Okay. And then I do this as well. Okay, so, you know, just hands together, and then I go forward like this, up, and again, down is, you know, stretching like that, and then I go like this, you know, hands together, and I bend forward, and again, do this very, very gently. Some of you might need to be very careful about this part, but, you know, it's bend down like this, right, and, and putting my arms putting my arms up again, not to strain, but just to make it feel good back down. And then basically the other, and then the, the other way I, I go like this, I just put my hands here. I press it to, 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 to my back and I stretch back like this. Okay. And then with the legs, you know, just kind of bringing up to your shoulders while you're standing a little bit like this. And then, um, and then, Oh, and then with the hands, last thing with the hands, is um, I put it out like this. I stretch it out. 
I stretch it out, you know, I stretch my fingers back out like this, and then I curl it up together and I, and I, and I feel this stretch in the forearms curl. So I'm kind of doing both arms and hand stretches at the same time. Again, gentle, not too hard. The key is just that you're doing it and that you have some range of movement. So, so gentle massage and stretch once an hour if possible, but at least every couple hours during your work day. So you're getting the blood and chi moving. And then the last thing I want to share with you, the third habit or practice is that I work for no more than two hours at a given time. And then I take a long break. I actually calculated this. So about 40% of my work sessions are only one hour long. 40% is one hour long. Another 35% is 90 minutes long. And only 25% of my work sessions throughout the week are two hours long. So in other words, the, the takeaway message is that most of my, the vast majority, 75% of my work sessions are 90 minutes or less. Some of you work at the computer for like three, four hours at a time. And I don't, you know, be, before you take a long break, and I just don't think that's very healthy. And it's probably not very sustainable. It's probably not good for your, your just your physical and emotional health in the long term. So try to work shorter, by shorter, I mean two hours or less. And during those one to two hours, you're also doing, again, my frequent micro breaks and hopefully like a massage and stretch every hour or so. And during my long breaks, what I do is I, I'm either taking a nap, you know, I'm either eating a meal, taking a nap, or taking a walk. So that's my long breaks, 30 to 30 minutes to two hours is a long break before I come back to another hour to two hour work session. So anyway, those are the three habits that healed me from that tingling sensation and the pain that I had. It, it went away completely after doing these three things for, um, I think I did it for a couple of weeks before it started just decreasing and then going away completely after a few months. And last year, it was during a particularly busy year and I had stopped doing some of these things and the pain started to return again. So I brought these three habits back and the pain is now gone. I'm completely you know, fine now. So again, the three habits are frequent micro breaks. Instead of keeping your hands at the computer when you're thinking, just drop it to your sides you know, or do this or you know, do a quick massage. Uh, frequent micro breaks, number one. Number two is gentle massage and stretch at least every couple hours, if not every hour, just, you know, again, it only needs to take like three minutes, like I showed you. And then the third thing is cutting your work hours, not cutting your total work hours, but just working for shorter uh, periods with more breaks that you're walking around or doing some chores or you know, taking a nap or something. So I hope this is helpful. I really hope that you'll do some kind of practice that allows you to stay healthy while you're working at the computer and you could do this for many more years and decades. So I hope this helps and I look forward to seeing your comments below. I'm gonna give you a moment to do that while I go check out the comments uh, that may be on my Facebook page since I'm doing this as a Facebook Live. So go ahead and comment below. Okay, so let me see here. All right. So thank you, Marco, for joining me. Uh, it's, a, it's a small small group today. So thanks so much for watching, and I hope this is helpful. I hope to hear how you're preventing potential repetitive stress for yourself. Okay, take care. Be well.